I told you, I told you it was coming. Those of you who have been early subscribers of my channels, uh, hopefully uh, would have seen all of the videos that I've talked about, the various challenges within the market. My biggest worries about the rise of the YouTube um, buy to let investor, um, the, the, the problems that are fundamental with what's going on. Uh, and now we see it on the BBC. Now it's front page. But I've been talking about this for a number of, uh, number of months now. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hopefully you will then be notified with the relevant uh, videos or you can go through some of my past videos talking about the various issues around the market. It's not, this has been coming for a while. It's not an overnight thing. It's not just because of the mini budget. Obviously that's had things to do with it, but um, there are some fundamentals that have to be addressed. Let's talk about some of those fundamentals and let's talk about some of the potential solutions that could be coming for everybody that's got a mortgage or is looking to get a mortgage. So I'll catch you on the main video. Okay, so we found ourselves in this situation um, mainly because of sheer incompetence around the, our government in terms of what they have outlined now i'm not blaming the government for doing you know trying to help people uh in need in terms of the you know the fuel poverty and the the cost and the rise of living and all of that i'm not I, that that's not where i'm going with this uh, what i'm uh, going with this is basically confidence in this government confidence in how they've said they're going to t tackle things because really where we found ourselves is the money markets, the global markets where people borrow money from each other, do not believe in the status quo. They don't believe in what uh, this government has outlined about its plans to be able to survive. You've got to remember, we are not part of the Eurozone, okay? Um, so, and that's got advantages and disadvantages. One of the advantages is we can be more flexible with our, um, with our plans, but the disadvantage is that we're not part of this greater zone that could um, absorb some of the shocks out there. Um, so we found ourselves where basically government debt people don't believe in the government and the government's plans you know are borrowing um some i read somewhere that basically our borrowing costs are more expensive than greece the short-term five-year money um greece who's well indebted and has been indebted for many 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 years is managing to borrow cheaper and italy than uk right now now considering that we had one of the lowest debts uh, in terms of um, uh, repayment debt and interest rates in terms of the the global economy finding the UK economy a secure and safe haven that's almost changed um, and I think that we're going to see a U-turn there's going to be a U-turn with this government so how it comes about let's see but let's talk about the people that are fixed rate right now and I've had many calls already people that are fixed and they're going to come out of their fixed in the next year, year and a half. Uh, so first of all, uh, let's talk about uh, the, the long-term projection. Right? The long-term is, when you look at the two-year fixes, and you look at the five-year fixes, up until last week, the two years was actually more expensive than a five-year fix. What that said was really, they think this is going to be a short-term phase, one or two years, uh, and then it will stabilize. Right um, Now, that's that could be still the case but unfortunately when the global markets lose confidence in the longer term plan that's going to cause problems so the first problem was they didn't cut the interest rate or they didn't increase the interest rate soon enough right they were not as aggressive as they should have been secondly they don't have confidence in this government and what's going to happen is interest rates will have to rise and I'm sure we're going to see probably an interest rate rise today or this week and then we're probably going to see a couple of more. Um, now the 
that's going to have an impact on those people that are coming up obviously for mortgages so what do we do about it so if you're one of those people that have got a mortgage coming up um, the first thing you want to do is have a look at your mortgage terms look at what the early repayment charges are the likelihood is you're probably better off staying where you are right now um, to evaluate what it is because this could just be a short-term blip and it could stabilize once the u-turn does come from this government or the bank of england which is independent and they've already come out and said look doesn't matter what these guys are doing what doesn't matter what their plans are we're going to do our own thing to try to stabilize things so i think we'll see interest rates rise which is unfortunate because it didn't need to happen um as aggressively they, they were trying to calm things down and do it gradually but i think um that disastrous mini mini budget as um has basically uh uh, exact, uh, it's made things so much, uh, it's, it's, it's cornered the Bank of England and I think the Bank of England will have to do something. So interest rates right now, I mean I'm speaking to, uh, one of the specialist lenders, sales and marketing director phoned me yesterday and he said, Payam, what do you think? Uh, and we've actually been to get, well I've known the guy for 20 odd years and uh, we've been through the last crash together and um, he said, what, I, I said, what do you think around the money? He goes, look Payam, basically, the money market's just gone mad, right? He said rates have increased dramatically, hence you've seen all these lenders, uh, mainstream high street lenders, pulling out of the market. Uh, and I think a lot of the specialist lenders will pull out of the market altogether, short term or long term, because they just cannot make buy to let work anymore. They can't make residential mortgages work on that pricing with that affordability model. Remember, lenders are constrained by some of the rules that are out there in terms of lending X amount of times your income, right? So the safe haven was when the high street sort of went a bit wobbly, you used to be able to place people to the specialist market, right? Um, the problem is the specialist market cannot borrow at a decent cost to make a living. And I think that will have an impact. Now, there are other people that will say, well, Payam, uh, you know, we were, historically, we had a 5%, 6% interest rate, and there were lots of specialist markets, uh, specialist lenders out there. You've got to look at how they were borrowing their money, what affordability channels there were back in, let's talk about back in 2007, 2006. So you had the self-certification mortgage. You had a very loose affordability model for lenders. So which meant, if the high street lenders could not lend, you'd go to a specialist lender and you'd be able to make things fit. Right now, those guys can't make it work. The high street guys are too afraid to come out with um, sensible rates and I think they're just fearing for the worse. So they're running for the hills. Um, in terms of uh, mortgages that are gonna come up, obviously uh, is gonna be painful. It'll be interesting to see if there's going to be an emergence of tracker rates. I think what it, the market needs really is some short stop products out there which essentially enable you not to pay the high standard verbal rates that people come off so when you come off your fixed rate you go on the either the lenders lenders stand available rate which is pegged to the interest rates uh, the, the government interest rates or the lenders own rates and what we need is we need products that are going to bridge the gap. You know, you're going to come off a one and a half percent interest rate and you're going whack into a four, four and a half percent interest rate, right? Now, people um, could potentially absorb that short term. So if there's a tracker rate product that comes in with no early repayment charge, then you could almost uh, put them on that tracker rate for now. And then people can sit tight until the rates stabilize and then maybe hit another five year fix or another two to three year fix. So at the moment, they're not there, right? But I think that's what's going to have to come. It'll have to be some short stops, okay? So people are not getting locked in to really ridiculously high rates for a long term. Um, so well, keep tuned. I'm going to do some videos on tracker rates when they start popping up. I think they will have to. Um, I think we'll see lenders change their affordability models. Now, we've already seen a few of these lenders, like Santander, for example, like Nationwide, where if you're going to, on, on a residential mortgage, if you're coming up for your remortgage, okay, and uh, you're, you're not going to borrow additional amounts, you're just going to keep the same balance, 
okay, and you want to get a better rate, you could potentially go to those lenders and they'll give you five and a half times your income. Because don't forget, it's not just the interest rates going up. Once the interest rates go up, the affordabilities will have to be recalculated on that higher interest rate to take into account the commitments that you're going to be taking on. So that needs to move from lenders. That four and a half times income just does not work, right, for a lot of people, right? So I think there's going to be need, uh, needing, and, and they will, they will have to loosen up that uh, follow-on rate or that rate where you can remortgage. So keep tuned. Don't worry. In terms of you know, there will be solutions out there, and I think what we have to do as mortgage brokers, as as the banks out there, is try to uh, help clients navigate that gap, that short stop gap, that year or two that there's going to be a bit of turmoil. And I think tracker rates could potentially be the solution simply because when the markets do stabilize, then you can you can put them on that rate. Um, yes, it will be uh, tracking the Bank of England uh, or, the, or the lender's rate, but then it's going to have no early repayment charges, hopefully. And if the product doesn't have an early repayment charge, you can then flip them onto a longer term fix. So that's something that we are, I'm looking out for. Um, affordability changes from lenders I, I will be looking out for. There's not going to be that much pricing changes, okay, because people are going to be worried about that. But criteria wise, affordability, tracker rate, no early repayment charges. OK, um, and what we've seen is um, you're going to see potentially lenders looking at their own books and saying, right, I've got X amount of hundreds of thousands of people that their rates are going to come up for a renewal. They may offer them preferential rates. They will look to keep good clients. So what you might get is staying with your existing lender might be a good solution, certainly on the buy to let side of things. I don't think there's going to be much activity from a buy to let side from people switching rates and moving moving lenders. I think because of the way rental calculations work, people are just stuck and they won't be able to move. And that's going to have some major impacts. One, I think short term rentals are going to go up. Rent's going to go up because the landlords are going to get hammered. Secondly, um, in terms of uh, affordability changes, if you are a landlord and you were looking to do that home renovation, you were looking to do things, you're going to probably put things on hold, right? Simply because you're going to need that cash and you can't raise that money. Traditionally, what you used to do is if you needed to raise the money, you could look at a remortgage. Then if you couldn't get a remortgage, you used to go and look at things like secured loans and things like that. Unfortunately, the way the rules are, the secure loan market's not really going to work that well because of affordability. So there's lots of there will be lots of changes. Now, it's going to hit everybody, right? It's going to hit our business. I've had several conversations yesterday where people traditionally were going to keep their existing property and buy a new one. And by the end of the conversation, they've said, well, I can't make this work. I'll have to sell that property. So I'll have to sell that flat and I'm going to buy that other property. So I think people are still driven to buy. And I think there are there's going to be an opportunity. Now, I've got clients that have been waiting for this, right? The thing is... It's all great waiting for something, saying, oh, the market's going to tumble, property prices are going to come down. But it's, it's, it's a different story to pulling that trigger and actually hitting a big mortgage on a high rate right now. And I think we will see where people end up with this because, I've, like I said, I've had conversations with many, many clients that are sitting back, maybe they've sold their properties, they're waiting to buy, first time buy, next time buyers, people that are sitting on the sidelines looking to buy. The difficulty is, right now we're talking about things that are to do with interest rates and stuff like that, which do matter, but will this hit the jobs market? If this hits the jobs market, then are you going to go and hit that 300, 400, 500k mortgage knowing that there's potential redundancies at your job? Okay, so that will have its own consequences later on. Um, I think certainly people were, are, are geared up and probably financially stable enough to last for a few months. But if it's going to be a real long term and the recession is going to hit, I think that we're, we're in for a challenging, challenging market. Um, certainly rates are changing all, I mean, almost on, on a daily basis. It's no point. I mean, I send a quote out and it might be the best rate for that hour. And then clients will come back and say, oh, sorry, that lender's withdrawn. We've got to go to another lender. So it's important you speak to an independent mortgage broker, whole of the mar uh, market mortgage broker, 
because just because you're getting quoted this just because you're seeing this on a comparison site that's not what you're probably ending up with because and and the the beauty of working a mortgage broker is once you get your documentation in they can then relook at things and see what else is suitable for you so if you've got a rate coming up in the next six months start getting in touch with a mortgage broker now discuss your uh, needs run through the affordability run through some of the costs you've got look at the loans look at your debt overall uh, and, and plan plan for the next six months plan for the next year because i think this is going to be with us uh, it's not going to be um like it's, it's, i don't think it'll be over in six months time for example or in a year's time i think with this 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 problem is going to be with us um certainly for the next year year and a half and sorry to be a, do, a bearer of doom and gloom we haven't we haven't had the guy in Russia turn off the taps yet. So the market's sort of thinking, okay, well this is all money, and you know the Bank of England will raise rates and this this. But if there's another big shock to the market, i.e., that guy turns it off, turns the gas off, what's going to happen even further, right? So um, interesting time. I think for for our own business, for for the market, if you are in a uh, and I've said this before, if you're in a sector which is talking about, you know, people's, um, uh, you know, you, you're, you're going to be, you're taking disposable income. So if you're in a restaurant business, you're in a hospitality business, I don't know, you're in tuition, you're in, you're a driving and trying, all of those things that people can do without, it's, it's worrying. It's, it's, it's very worrying for, for everybody out there because we don't know how this is going to end up in the next year or so what i will say is what you can do is plan get your spreadsheet out run your costs now run what you've what your disposable income is run what you can cut uh, run what your mortgage what you can bear on the mortgage if you were looking to do home improvements and borrow a load of money it might be worth holding off for now and then seeing what can happen later let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've been watching these videos um, because I have been predicting this uh, and it's unfortunate, but I think um, we'll have to all go through this and I'll, my channel will be hopefully here um, to talk about all the changes. So do subscribe to the channel if you can. Take care, all the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.